Hi, I'm Peter Kellenstrom of Kellenstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the content type hub. As you'll notice, when I'm here in the SharePoint Admin Center, I have a default site collection and I have some manually created this, the IT and the sales site collection. However, I also have some default created the search site collection, the portals hub and the portals community. And I also have the my sites site collections. But there's actually another one in here that is not visible. To get to that, I would recommend going to one of your sites, whichever one. I'll go to the HQ site here. And then under site settings, you'll find the content type publishing. And that shows that this site collection is connected to another site collection called the content type hub. And in Office 365, this is all set up for you. If you're on premise, then you need to set this up manually. It's not done for you. So I'm gonna show this in Office 365 now. I'm gonna go into the content type hub. As you see, it's built on the regular team site template. So I'm gonna change this name so that it's not called team site anymore. It's called the content type hub, just to make it very clear where I am at. And then I'm gonna follow that so I can easily find my way back to it. Now, the thing that makes this site collection different from other site collections is that it has a specific feature. I went into the site collection features here, and here you'll see that the content type syndication hub is enabled here or active. And that's the only thing that makes it different from other site collections. So the implication of that is that if I go into my site content types and create a new one, I'm just gonna do a test one here. I'm gonna get into the real ones soon. I'm just gonna do test and you'll see here that this manage publishing for this content type. That's only there if you're in the content type hub. So what you need to do is after you're done with your content type, you need to go in here and make sure you publish and press OK. So that's all part of the content type functionality. And that means that it will be available for searching based on this content type. It will be available, of course, also for creating new lists based on that. So that's a very powerful thing. So using the content type hub is in general a good idea and I do recommend it, but it is a bit of um, extra thinking and it's a bit of extra work, of course, to keep that in check and publish and so on. And there's also a waiting period before the publishing is actually done. And in Office 365, you have no control over that waiting period. So it's a bit of a frustration actually also, but um, it is worth the trouble, especially because you get that content type visible in the search engine in general, not just in each site collection. So publishing your content types to the content type hub is a good idea. Thank you for watching this demonstration.